Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is dating can be hard because the universe has bigger plans for you. So if you're noticing that you're dating and it's becoming difficult, repetitive, similar things are, are, are turning into a pattern for you and you can't figure out what's going on, well, sometimes it's because the universe has a message for you. Now, whether you believe in this or not, it is something that you should pay attention to because when your instincts speak loud and they're telling you not to do something or here we go again, why am I doing this? If you're not listening to it and changing up what isn't working, you're going to keep having the same outcome every single time. A lot of people do not realize that they are repeating a pattern of things that aren't working because they know what they don't want in their life but some people don't always know what it is they're actually looking for. So what happens is we keep putting out the energy of what we don't want. And I know you're probably bombarded with this in, in other videos about all the law of attraction and all these things, and maybe you don't really believe in it. But if something isn't working for you, whether it's in your jobs, your friendships, your fitness, your, your uh, um, diet, all those kind of things, you're doing something repetitive that's keeping you stuck. So why not look at all avenues? Find a way that you can work it out so that there are changes that are favorable, that come to you that show that, okay, I am progressing. I'm not just doing the same thing over and over. I'm moving up the ladder to a better place. And if you keep getting that same message sent to you all the time, that here we go again, you have to start thinking that maybe you're not putting the energy that you should be putting into the right areas. That's okay. That's what life is all about. It's learning the lessons and moving on to a higher place. But some of us get stuck. We don't know that we're not aligned. We don't understand that that energy that we're feeling that's frustrating and hurtful and, and causing us anxiety is because of some of the repetition that we keep allowing in our life you're in charge of changing that up. But it's not until you understand and see that you're doing that, that it will work. So this is why I wanted to draw attention to this topic today because, don't you, you know, you think back to those little nagging thoughts that keep popping up here and there, but we ignore them. A lot of us do that because we don't really want to take the hard road. This is what we think it's the hard road, but it's actually not. When there's less, you know, problems within yourself and you're not always having to deal with stuff that is toxic or, or there's drama filled scenarios and it just kind of goes smooth. Sometimes it can be very foreign because you're sitting there going, Oh, what's that? I don't know what, I don't know what it's like to have just a nice smooth free environment. So we go back and continue to places that we're familiar with that aren't a good place to be. So the first thing that I would suggest is to figure out what it is you really want. If you have to write it down, do so. Take a look at it and be honest with yourself. Is this what I really want? Or am I sort of shooting for a different place than I really want to go? There's a lot of times where we, we pick scenarios and places to be that we're not really happy to be in. And mainly it's because of where we've allowed our life to go, so we just continue on. The best thing that you can do is listen to those spidey senses, listen to that inner, inner turmoil, because when something isn't right, it doesn't feel good. And it's, I know it sounds really common sense as I'm saying it, but we do tend to ignore it sometimes because everyone thinks that, oh, you know, a relationship is always work and it's, you know, it's, there's going to always be this stuff. Yes, there's always going to be challenges for sure but they don't have to be where you're up against a wall all the time or you feel like, you know, as I said earlier, you feel anxious about having to do something or be with someone or go somewhere. Do what makes you happy. Those vibrations you've heard about, those are real. When your energy is in a good place, you don't have that sort of topsy-turvy stomach thing going on or your mind's all over the map. It just feels good. And that's what we're missing. A lot of the time we think there has to be all this hoopla that goes with it. In, you know, when you're in a, in a relationship, it doesn't have to be. You're always going to have a few hurdles and some obstacles, 
But when you have boundaries, you know what it is you want, and you know you're worthy of getting what you want, you'll move on quicker to each situation. So listen to those whisperings in your head, because those whispers are really powerful. And they're, I think they're from somewhere else, somewhere more powerful than us. But that's just my opinion. But if you're hearing something or you're feeling when you're going into a situation, oh, I've been here before, I'm not really liking where this is going, listen to yourself and move on to a better place. It's not going to happen overnight, but it will definitely happen when you start to see them. And what I've noticed even with myself is when I feel unbalanced, it, it's really it's really there now and I can really pick up on it and so what I do is I change up my environment whether it's just getting out of the house maybe I'm overwhelmed with my blogging and my videos and all the stuff I do sometimes it's just a matter of moving yourself out of that place for a while so you can look back in and say to yourself okay either maybe I'm not supposed to be here or maybe I need to change up just a little bit about what isn't working so take baby steps, but keep growing, keep evolving to being the better you. There's no, nothing wrong with, you know, taking a little while to get there. But once you change up how you feel aligned in your life and how your energy flows, you'll really start to feel the things that don't flow. And that's a really good thing about it when you do pay close attention and listen to your instincts. Pay really close attention. Are you ready to be in a relationship? That can be sometimes why you keep picking the wrong people because you're not really ready to commit to somebody. And that's another thing. So just be really honest. Write down a few things about what you want, where you are in this stage of your life because you came to this video because the title drew you here because maybe you're feeling like every time you're dating, you're meeting the wrong people or, or you're repeating a pattern of the similar types that you're dating that are working out for you. You're choosing them and allowing them for a reason. Sometimes it's just as simple as familiar repetition, and that's what you're used to. But if it's not working for you, you don't want to get used to it. You want to be able to move on and find a better place for you. So listen to those whispers, as I said earlier. Listen closely to them. Somebody is telling you something. It doesn't matter where it's coming from. It's your better judgment that's speaking to you. So pay attention to it. Get yourself out of the red flag situations very early so you don't have all the stuff to deal with. And go for what you want. Choose the goals that work for you that bring you happiness and bring you excitement. Also pay close attention to who you're spending a lot of time with. Are those people maybe not in a positive frame of mind? Are you both in similar place or are you all in similar places in your life? I always suggest surrounding yourself with people who are smart, happy, who have really great goals that they're achieving because when you're around people like that, it makes you look at yourself differently too. And and you say, wow, they're, they're doing all this, I can do this too. And the more you put yourself around people like that, the more positive will come into your life and it will just start flowing and you'll attract more happy things towards you. So you won't be stuck. You won't have this pattern that's driving you crazy. You're gonna go out and date and when you feel ready and when you know what you want and what you're looking for, start bringing it towards you. If it doesn't feel right, remove it. Just be always kind and courteous and loving to people that do enter your life because they're there to teach you something. They're there for a reason. So be grateful that they were there and then you can move on to a bit of a higher place later on when you figure out what it is the universe wants for you and you want for yourself. So don't be upset about how your dating is going all the time, but sit down and analyze, okay, what am I repeating here? What am I doing that is attracting certain types of people towards me? And just mix it up a little bit. Just change a few things here and there, and it will work for you. A lot of it's about attitude. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already subscribed to Dear Cyber Sue, I'd appreciate it if you could do so. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.